Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and today we're opening up two packages. One is a lot that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I have to tell you about this one because there was a little story involved, but it worked out just fine, I think. And then the other one is my first uh, high bed auction. And um, to tell you the truth, I have no idea how much it ended up costing me <laughs> because they, um, you have to find somewhere that or, like some auction company that does offer shipping on the items and then they'll like invoice you later and some of them uh, charge handling. And I didn't know that when I placed this, but then as I started reading on and on, I noticed, but I, then I went back and looked once I realized that, but I don't think this company does. So I think it was just shipping which is fine. But anyway, all right. So I don't know. I've been like nervous to open this. I don't know. <laughs> there was one particular item in there that, um, I really wanted. So, and I see they used a medium flat rate box. So that's probably what I got charged for shipping. But anyway, all right, let's do the Facebook marketplace one. Now, let me tell you the story about this. So this woman had a lot of 13 super awesome salt and pepper shakers, um, listed for, I want to say, tw what was that? $22, do $22 around. And then the shipping was $4 it said, which I thought was weird, but I'm like, maybe she's calculating it into her total sale price. Like I don't, I do that sometimes. When I list on eBay, I'll put shipping lower than I know it's going to be. But in my head, I know that I'm taking it out of the price, you know? Um, anyway, so I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing happened. And then my order gets canceled. So I'm like, what the heck? That sucks because I was so excited about this. I think I even mentioned it in one of my videos. And I, I messaged her. I said, hi, you know, it just said my order was canceled. I was wondering, you know, could you? could you tell me why you know that's fine and and then she said I didn't know how you were paying and I didn't know when or where we were meeting up and I said you you had it for shipping and you get paid like automatically and she's like no I didn't and I'm like no you did I swear I promise I'm not lying so I like screenshotted her listing where it said ships for you four dollars or whatever and she said, oh, Facebook must have done that automatically I would never ship this for four dollars and I'm like you know that's fine I figured that and then she said, however, if you're, if you are interested, I could like quote you for shipping and then get back to you later tonight. I said, yeah, that'd be great. So she got back to me. She gave me the shipping price and I said, works for me. And then she invoiced me on PayPal and was awesome and, uh, and shipped it to me. And then she even writes to me. She said, um, one of the salt, like in the picture, she's like the salt, the pair of salt and pepper shakers behind the floral one or something has a chip. So I threw in another set. So there's 14 in here. So 14 and I paid about $35. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. So let's go through them. I don't know. In the picture, some of them look pretty cool. I don't know. And I did purchase these for resale. So we're going to go through it together. I don't know. I think I'm more nervous about that one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't mind me. All right, let's look. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is going to be exciting though. It kind of is, but I am nervous. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, okay. I hope they made it. Okay. Oh, there's, there's singles. I have to find the matches. Okay, here we go. I found the match on this one. All right, here's the first one. Oh, these are adorbs. Look at the happy cow. And here's her match. Let's check out her match. Ooh, okay. All right, so the only damage I see, I don't know if that's gonna pick up on camera, is a little bit of glaze loss. It's not even a total chip on the ear. But this one has its sticker, which is awesome. Omnibus Japan. So that's our first pair. Pretty cool. All right, here's another pair. Ooh, these are super cool. Look at these. 
These are Japan too. It says tarnish resistant, clean with soft, damp cloth, no silver polish. Japan, look at those. Those are awesome. They're like metal. Like, I don't know. Those are super cool. Those are super, super cool. All right. I think they're metal. They're cold like metal. I don't know. Let's keep looking. All right, these I remember from the picture. They go together. They hang on this thing. So let's open it all up. This is also Japan. All right, so here is... This is this uh, like grapevine tree. It says Choice Imports Japan. One of the shakers is missing the bottom, but they hang on there like that. Isn't that so cool? So cool. I dig it. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is a single, so we have to find the match here too. <laughs> All right, I found it. These are kind of cute. They're not marked on the bottom, but they're little uh, little basketballs. They almost look like, I don't know, they're like ceramic, almost like um, like studio pieces. But those are pretty cool. Now would have been a good time with March Madness, but, but here we go. All right. Next up. These look pretty cool. All right. Wow, check these out. These are Yukago. Yukago, Japan. And they have their original corks. Oh, uh, there's one little break in the leaf there, unfortunately, but that's interesting. Okay. All right, next set. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the set I was most excited about. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're amazing. Look. And they have gemstone eyes, guys. Japan, original corks. Oh, those are amazing. Okay, awesome. Oh, these are fall scrap. They're cute though. Brand new, never used. They have their original stickers over the... Those are cute. That might have been the extra pair she threw in. I don't recall seeing those, but I could be wrong. I don't know. There was so many in the picture, you know. Next up. Okay. These are Japan also. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Look at that. The holes are on the back. So, they are Japan. And then it says souvenir of Hagerstown, Maryland there, but look at that. Little bells, and then you have to go like that. That is so cute. I really like those. All right, next are these. Oh, wait, are these the, oh, these are cute too. I remember these, okay. These are unmarked, but I feel like someone's, they look like Japan too. I feel like somebody is really, really gonna like those, you know, cause people do collect pigs. I did for a long time in my life. Those are adorable. These are also unmarked, but they are these cute little pears. Those are sweet. All right, this one. Oh, wow. Okay. These are Japan also. And they're these little, little boots. Those are so cute. All right. Next. Wow, these are Japan also. Oh, no, they're not. They're Korea. At first glance, I thought that said Japan, but it actually says Korea. And they are these little um, duck geese. I don't know. I don't know my fellow. All 
All right, after this, there's only one more set. And another one I was super excited about. These are Japan also. Look at that, little windmills. Those are awesome. We have some sticker residue on the back, but those are very, very cool. Very, very cool. Look very old. They're um, there's crazy. All right. I think this is the last pair and another one that I was super excited about, along with those kitties with the gemstone eyes. So let's see. Okay, they're not exactly what I thought they were. <laughs> I don't know why. In the picture, I thought they were like anthropomorphic cauliflower. Um, but they're not, they're not, they don't have faces. I don't know why I thought they did in the picture. It's got a little chip there on the bottom though, unfortunately. And here they are. They are unmarked on the bottom also, but, but those are, those are interesting though, for sure. Yeah. All right. So that is the, let me just count. That's the 14. All right, awesome. I feel good about it. I feel good about it. I got $35 for 14 sets. And for resale, like, that's great. Like, there's a lot of potential here. All right, so that worked out really well. And now we're gonna get into my uh, high bid auction. <laughs> All right, the high bid auction. So this was like a little lot and I didn't even look closely at the picture because there was just one thing in there that I really, really wanted. And I was like, hey, whatever, I'll have fun looking at the other stuff when it comes, but that's the one thing I want. So let's see what's in here and let's hope the thing I wanted got here unscathed. All right, we're in. And it appears that the thing I really wanted was up right up here on top. Oh my goodness. All right, so we just ripped the band-aid off. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And they're in beautiful con Let me not jinx it. Let me not jinx it. They're in beautiful condition. Okay, oh my gosh. All right, these Lucite candles with gold fleck. Okay, that's it, that's all I wanted. <laughs> I'm done. But there's the whole box. Yo, tell me that's, oh my gosh, no. Okay, I thought it was a flower frog. I was gonna cry because I just peed. I just bought one. Anyway, okay. There was more to those candles. the matching oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh okay the matching candle holders guys and that's it wow all right now should we look at the rest of the box and see what else was thrown in here <laughs> as an added bonus no idea what it is I i'm telling you i didn't even pay attention to the picture i didn't care made in china whatever this says Um, I don't know. It's got feet, so it goes like this. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Is it like an ice skate? I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's a little foundation for figures, but I don't know what. Okay, here's this. This has no marking, so I don't know what it is, but it's this little bird figurine. Okay, these are home co. It's a little home co raccoon and squirrel. I wonder if the bird is home co too. Another, oh no, it's not, I don't know. Anyway, a little home co bear and rabbit and a little home co bunny it does have a little chip on the leaf though all right there's more uh 
Uh, it's another uh, bird. I'm assuming that's cold paint because it's uh, coming off, but there's no chips. I don't know, it's unmarked, but there's that one. All right, now we have this. It says mom, MC8 or something on the bottom. It's a little gold booty planter. That looks super old. All right, this. Just a little star candle holder. this me uh oh and his head fell off great his head came off in shipping And with my luck, watch, he was like worth a lot of money or something. I don't know. But yeah, he got decapitated in shipping. Made in Taiwan. All right. And the last thing is this. Unmarked. Oh, she goes with the guy. She goes with the decapitated guy. I have no idea what it is. I'll uh, Google lens it, see what I can come up with, if it's anything. Maybe I can sell them as a set with his head repaired. I don't know. But you saw what I really bought it for, and the rest was just whatever, <laughs> honestly. Um, all right. So thank you guys for opening up my two packages of my unexperiencing with me. So I think that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, we would love if you would consider doing so and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family because we would love to have you and we tend to have a lot of fun here. So until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.